Yes. Bonjour, Mademoiselle Araba. Bonjour. You came all the way from uh, Cotonou, Benin, to be with us? You are from Radio Topka in Cotonou, Benin, right? <laughs> Thanks for coming to share with us your concern. It is a very disturbing to know about the state of the waters of the western coast of your continent. You see, this poisonous gas that you are asking about is formed from the elements that create an oceanic uh, dead zones. Dead zones are exactly as they sound. They are areas of the ocean that are dead. The area of the ocean that are unable to support any more life which arise mostly from livestock, feed, agriculture, pollution, as well as uh, livestock manure running into the ocean or some other kind of imbalances. The number of dead zones observed since uh, 2003 have more than tripled, with now in excess of 400 that exist and are growing worldwide. The African dead zone, according to scientists, has been caused by a combination of a strong upwelling current that brings abundant plankton along with the loss of sardines because of human fishing. In the past several decades, tens of millions of these tiny fish have been removed from the ocean for humans consumption. So now, instead of sardines helping consume the plankton, the plankton just dies in the water instead and sinks to the bottom of the ocean, where it decays and contributes to the formation of the poisonous gases methane and hydrogen sulfide. While methane gas can be volatile and explosive, hydrogen sulfide is poisonous to both humans and marine life. So this area has uh, periodic explosions of methane and hydrogen sulfide. And when these gases erupt off the coast of Africa, uh, many other fish die and animals such as lobsters and crabs run onto the shore, trying to flee the poisonous gas. But sometimes they cannot avoid either. Scientists are now concerned that uh, without a restoration of the ecological balance, dead zones like this will just continue to be more and more get bigger and bigger, which of course is a lethal for all life. So this is a small but very good example of why we need to be vegan, to renew the rightful balance of life. And of course we also need to be organic vegan, because so many of these dead zones are caused and made worse by chemical fertilizers that are primarily used for livestock feed. So yes, be organic vegan. <laughs>